No, the travel part to your answer, there was, the, I traveled immediately. One of the things I was really fortunate enough to be involved with was, was Harley Race uh, in Springfield, Missouri. And at some of my early matches uh, that I mentioned earlier against the time King Mabel, um, Hacksaw, Butch Reed, which was another guy that I grew up watching. Um, got, I was a huge Harley race mark, just flat out growing up. I thought legitimate, tough guy, and I want to, you know. So to be there, they put together a really good program. Uh, I burned that bridge accidentally through Bill Ash and regretted it for a long time and was never able to repair that. What happened? I'm sure. Go ahead. What happened there? Um, Bill was helping book with with Harley. Mm -hmm. And we went up and did, I don't know, two or three uh, TV tapings where you would work two or three matches. And that was great experience for, for a guy getting, you know, in the first year of the business. And um, I we had something scheduled for Harley on a taping. And I said, Bill, when are we supposed to be there? And he goes, oh, no, no, that's, we're not, that's not happening anymore. And I went, oh, okay. So what do we do? And he said, well, I'll, I'll let you know. Well, it turns out Bill wasn't doing it anymore, which is my trainer, uh, and I know showed Harley. So wow. didn't know that I was doing that. Yeah. But and, and the reality of I don't know what I would have done. Um, as a green guy in the business, do you go with your trainer and show your dedication to that and keep working? Do you go with Harley Race, uh, you know, who is a legend in the business? Probably so. I'm not sure I was smart enough to do that. But either way, I know showed Harley and I would go to shows and kind of try to make up for it and got to use some, but I never got, I never got back over that hump of, of no showing uh, a legend in the business. My fault. I didn't know any better, but I got to take my decision. I just didn't know I was making that decision. See, I didn't even know you had that link. And it, it's funny you mentioned it because like I said, we just talked to David Marquez maybe a week ago. Uh, interviews will be going up and part of world league wrestling, you know, him, he was working with Harley Race and Gordon Soli to get it established. So oh, I didn't even know there was that link there. That's where I met Dave Marquez. Um, All right. And also probably one of the greatest, one of the greatest uh, claims and honors that I can ever say that I've had was to be interviewed by Gordon Soli. Wow, that's so, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. It, I mean, we all, if you're an old school wrestling fan, Gordon Soli was the voice of, of wrestling. He was the dean of professional wrestling. And, uh, I was kind of brought in by Bill and was kind of being like pushed toward, okay, you may, you know, we're going to use you as maybe a graduate of the wrestling school and, and, you know, um, yeah, it didn't work out so well and that's my fault. But yeah, Gordon Soli, possibly the greatest of all time, announcer-wise, color commentator. 